Hello again, it's Bruce Kingsley from BruceKModelTrains.com following up on last week's video on the Ultimate Throttle Camera. Here we're showing both the camera and transmitter now mad on, to, on their custom chassis. Front one is a EMD F7 and A and the rear is the B. The, the front, just because of the size of the camera, I wasn't able to use at all any of the Earthern Genesis chassis because I needed all the space I could. So the base plate steel uh, custom made and the truck mounts also custom made too. It also acts as a heat sink for the camera. Both the transmitter and the, the camera both utilize a uh, 5 volt switching power supply to uh, take power from the rails. Uh, the transmitter, which draws quite a bit of a lot of current, more than a, a traditional locomotive, uh, utilizes two modified Soundtracks current keepers. And uh, this is to make sure we don't have any loss of the network between the transmitter's HDMI and its receiver. Uh, in fact, just to power it on, the, both the camera and the transmitter need to sit on the track for about three minutes, and that enables both of their individual switching power supplies and current keepers to come up to full charge, and then each both uh, camera and the transmitter have a switch that enables them to be powered up. This also minimizes uh, tripping the circuit breaker on the Digitrack uh, uh, power booster, DCC power booster. I'm using a, one of their ch Super Chiefs. Uh, I'm not showing in these videos here, but between the transmitter and the receiver is the small HDMI cable. Uh, I really needed something flexible so it wouldn't derail it when it makes the turns. Unfortunately, as it is right now, I haven't been able to find a nice short one, so it's kind of bundled up to go inside it. I have taken some video of it going through around, being pushed, and I'll tell you, it looks absolutely fantastic. But I'm not going to be showing it until we actually can see it looking through the window of our ultimate throttle while we're standing behind the controls. So that's it for today, and uh, we'll have some more follow-ups as we're getting closer to the end of this project. See you later. Bye.